Many of the undocumented people in this country describe feeling like they live in the shadows. And now a young girl, Estela Juarez, is shedding light on what it's like to be the daughter of an undocumented parent. Yeah, she's doing it with a new book, using her words to bring attention to a situation many families across the country are facing. My name is Estela. I am 11 years old. She's the little girl that touched millions of hearts at the 2020 Democratic National Convention. My mom is my best friend. She came to America as a teenager over 20 years ago without papers in search of a better life. Estela Juarez wrote a letter to then President Trump, pleading for the return of her mother, who'd been deported in 2018. My mom worked hard and paid taxes, and the Obama administration told her she could stay. Now, my mom is gone, and she's been taken from us for no reason at all. Her family story became part of the national conversation, and two years later, 13-year-old Estella is speaking out in a new book called Until Someone Listens. Oh my gosh! I feel so accomplished. <laughs> Look at my book. Taken from Estella's own letters and recollections, the book describes the shock of a family suddenly torn apart by immigration policy and the determination of a young girl to use her voice to advocate for change and permanently reunite her family. And joining us in the studio now is author and immigration policy activist Estela Juarez. <laughs> Congratulations on the book. You're 13 years old, right? That's quite the introduction. You've done so much. You're spreading the word about what it's like. And we want to at least initially say, thank goodness, your mom is back home now. Tell us how that happened. Well, I, for well, for me, um, we had many, much support. We had a lot of support um, from our Congressman Darren Soto and my video being in the National Democratic Convention and my book, um, Until Someone Listens, that didn't actually come out until she came back. So I'm very grateful that she's here with us right now. No, she's here, but you said right now. Uh, what's, this is still going to be a fight. Tell me what you have ahead, what mom has ahead. She is here, I believe, in studio, mm -hmm. here with us. But what is the, you still have a fight ahead with your mom. This isn't over, it's not done. She entered through something called a humanitarian parole, and you have to renew it every year. Mm -hmm. So um, we have to apply, and if the application is not approved, she will be deported in May of next year. That's incredible. And, and you're just 13, but, but, and I know you had just such incredible composure and, and confidence to be able to stand up there in front of all of those people at the Democratic mm -hmm. National Convention, talk to then-President Trump back in 2020. Talk a little bit about what it felt like then, and, and how you feel now also still being that voice that call for change well i'm filled with gratitude and appreciation to have this platform to um, get the message out in the world but the fight is still continuing and i'm going to continue to use my voice to fight for other immigrants and to fight for a permanent solution for my mother you said you're fighting for uh, solutions but is that kind of tie into what the the title of the book tell, tell us what you mean by that until someone listens and you feel like nobody is yet <laughs> Well, I have actually been listened, but the purpose of the book is for somebody to read it, for example, the legislator or even the president, and help me change those broken immigration laws because the only way she's going to be able to stay here permanently is through the, the immigration laws changing. I know you're optimistic, but what do you think the real chances are, given the feedback, given the makeup of the, the, in Congress and also, I mean, even state legislatures, they, they can't do a whole lot, but still, what do you think uh, the chances are right now? Well, at this point, I have so much hope because my mother was never supposed to come back from Mexico when she got deported. She was supposed to stay there for the rest of her life. But the fact that she's here right now, it shows me that anything is possible. Wow. wow. With people like you using their voices, oh. thank you're you. right. Estela Juarez, thank you so much for being with us. You are so impressive. I know your mom must be extremely <laughs> proud of you right now. We wish you and your family all the luck. And, 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 and we believe, too, there is a lot of hope out there. So thank you. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.